a plunge into the ocean may not be so refreshing this week. Off the coast of Florida, water temperatures south of Miami reached 38.4 degrees Monday. That's as hot as a hot tub. It might be a world record overtaking the unofficial 37.6 degrees reported previously in Kuwait. Normal marine temperatures in Florida range from 23 to 31 degrees at this time of year. Meteorologists warn a heat wave like the one we see right now poses a serious threat to oceans, ecosystems, and the fish that live therein. For more on all of this, let's bring in CBC News science and climate specialist Darius Madavi. So Darius, what is driving these high temperatures in the ocean? I mean, I just can't imagine what that feels like. More than 38 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, it's especially concerning. So 38 degrees Fahrenheit is around, uh, sorry, Celsius is around 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 101. Uh, so perfectly hot tub temperature. People are freaking out about the idea that uh, ocean temperatures have hit the triple digits in Fahrenheit. Uh, two of the main drivers here uh, are the heat wave that we've seen on land in Florida over the last few weeks. I mean, temperatures in Miami uh, have exceeded the heat advisory warning level uh, for the last 33 days. Uh, and that is far, sorry, 22 days. And that smashes the previous record of just three days. Uh, so you can see on that map there, uh, the buoys that are recording these temperatures around the uh, Miami area, right through the uh, bays around Florida, are experiencing record high temperatures. Uh, these temperatures are not anything near what we'd normally see this time of year. We'd usually be seeing temperatures closer to 29 degrees Celsius. So we're talking uh, t almost 10 degrees above normal uh, in some of these areas. Uh, the other main driver is a marine heat wave that we've been seeing uh, throughout the North Atlantic. Uh, temperatures have been well above average uh, around Florida, but also off the coast of Newfoundland. Uh, and we're talking in the range of five to 10 degrees Celsius above what we'd normally see this time of year. So what kind of impact could we see as a result? Absolutely devastating ones. Uh, it's not just that uh, heat waves on land affect ocean temperatures, it also works the other way. We're seeing this heat wave in the ocean and that's driving and adding to the, uh, the massive heat wave we're already experiencing on land. So this is sort of a chicken and egg scenario, but they really feed into one another. Uh, the other major impact we're seeing is on marine life. A lot of fish species, uh, temperatures like this interrupt their life cycles. For corals especially, which house almost half of all marine life, uh, we're talking uh, massive coral bleaching events where they just expel the algae that let the corals bloom. Uh, so this is a massive concern and scientists are, are really worried. Darius, thank you. That is CBC News science and climate specialist Darius Madavi in Vancouver.